Um, as Steve mentioned, we've been on the road. We've been the road warriors, I feel like, for the last three weeks, but it's been great. It's been a great experience. Our players have learned a lot. We've learned a lot about our players, and our lineup has changed a number of times due to the injuries that we occurred during our preseason. Fortunately, we are starting to get those injured players back, which means great things for our lineup, so we're very excited about that. Our most recent, recent addition back is Megan Nash. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Megan dislocated her thumb um, on the probably the fourth day of preseason and has been out ever since. Um, we were fortunate enough to get her back, and she did some really great things this weekend, added a lot of depth um, and speed and just game savvy of playing the game at a high level. So we're thrilled to finally get her back um, on the floor consistently. Um, as Steve mentioned, we were in LA this last weekend. We have two players on our team from the LA area, Corey Hunt, who is a senior defensive player, and Heather Schnars, as, who, as you guys know, is a senior outside hitter, previously All-American. Um, we were originally supposed to fly out on Wednesday, however, our flight got canceled and shifted our, our plans quite a bit, uh, but we were able to finally get out on Thursday got a quick practice in, and uh, then started match play on Friday morning. Um, we beat a, beat a very scrappy, young, energetic uh, Stony Brook team. I know that team will go on to do really good things in their conference. Uh, so I was pleased with that win and the execution that we had from the players. Um, <coughs> against Loyola Marymont, I thought we, we really jumped over a big hurdle that we've been trying to get across, um, even with the, the injuries and the lineup changes that we've had. Uh, so I was, even though we lost that, that match, I was really pleased with how our players fought for every single point, made LMU fight for every single point, because that's something we hadn't been seeing in our match play and in our scrimmages. So I was really pleased to see that. Um, the next morning, we came out against a NCAA tournament team in Oakland, and um, they brought it. They brought it from the very first point of the match and did not let up until the very last point of the match. And unfortunately, we did not match that defensive effort and that offensive output. So a little disappointed with how we came out for that match as far as being prepared and to ready, be re being ready to go. Um, so that's certainly something we addressed and we will be, be better at as we come into these next couple of weeks. Um, and then our last match finishing up at and with Long Beach State, who is a perennial uh, powerhouse in the sport of volleyball. And for those of you that have never seen their facility or been in their facility, it's literally shaped like a pyramid. It looks like the Luxor in Vegas. Um, so the ball moves quite a bit in that facility. It's a great facility. It's really open. There's a lot of USA Volleyball <coughs> events that take place there. So it's a really neat environment to have the opportunity for our players to play in. Uh, but again, a great homecoming for Corey and Heather. Um, so as Steve mentioned, we are starting the Crane Invitational this week, and we are thrilled to be back at home. I was, I was telling somebody over here that I don't know who's more thrilled, the players or the coaches, to be back. Um, so they're certainly thrilled to be back just to be in their environment and normal pace, but we're thrilled to be back that we're not missing any more school. Um, however, these guys are doing a great job in the classroom, and we're obviously doing study hall on the road to make sure they're keeping up with their studies. Um, so as we mentioned, we have Texas A&M Corpus Christi up first, so we're excited to, to take out a conference opponent the very first match that we get at home. Uh, we are going to be playing that one in the Prince Center, and uh, the following matches, as Steve mentioned, are going to be played in the Ferris, as we are having the conference tournament here. So we want to get a couple matches in that facility under our belt just to get used to the facility because the ball, again, will move a little differently and just spatially seeing everything. Uh, but we definitely would love your support. Um, I know the players would as, as well as our staff and I uh, encourage you to come down before or after the matches to let us know that you're there. And uh, it's going to be a great weekend of volleyball, so I look forward to having you guys here. All right, thank you.